Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, let's get into this today. We are um, fresh exploring Microsoft Flight Simulator. We have um, several options here, several are newer airports. Um, what we're going to do today, I know the weather is just crummy in uh, Chicago right now. If you're from the Midwest, you know what I mean. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to check out Chicago. Um, just want to show you some of my settings here. I want to say the my recording software is using a little bit of um, bandwidth, so to speak, on, uh, on my device here. But um, let me show you just some of my graphics. Uh, mostly ultra setup. Um, you can scroll through there if you want to check out what we have. But we have a GeForce RTX 3080. Um, and uh, that's what we're running today on a, a Lenovo um, Legion desktop. Uh, any questions, uh, any, anything you want to ask, certainly feel free to comment below. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a little exploratory flight. We're going to change the flight conditions. But I think we're going to come out um, uh, probably, let's just fly along the um, southern shoreline here of Chicago. Let's set this as a departure. Um, I do like the Cessna 152. I was um, got my check ride in a 150 for my private pilot, so that is uh, the exact same airframe, a little bit uh, a little bit quicker on the engine. The Aerobat obviously has a little bit um, more structural components to it to make a, to make it allowable to do um, rolls and and spins and stuff like that. But um, certainly you can do spins as well in a 152. So. Um, we're going to take the 152 today. There's a several liveries. Um, I just like this uh, black one there. I do like brown for some reason. I like this old look, this old Ken Mayer look of the brown. Weight and balances today. Uh, we've been flying along the coast for a while. We had full tanks when you took off. So we're at about three quarter tanks, let's say. Um, just me and you flying today. So we'll keep that as is uh, failures will keep off for now and we got our call sign and let's change our flight conditions this is what I really like is the fact that we can actually do live weather um, so we're just gonna do we're just gonna do us um, we're gonna do uh, uh, we'll just we'll have AI traffic on I don't see why not um, we'll customize our weather though um, we can certainly make it for today. Um, we're not going to do live weather because we're just going to end up in a snowstorm um, with overcast and poor visibility. So, um, you know, let's just do clear skies out there in Chicago today. Um, and lightning temperature. Um, wow, that's pretty decent. Um, temperature I don't think it's that let's, let's lower it a little bit here um, probably like realistically like that um, the pressure is high because uh, it's so cold um, so let's do that um, wind layer speed and knots now oh, it's never seems like in Chicago it's never under 10 so let's just do a um, Let's do a nice uh, eight nautical mile wind here and let's um, bring it from the north, which is pretty typical in winter in the Midwest. So north or northwest, so let's do that. And let's get out of there and let's check this out. Let's see what we got. I did do an install on a um, on an SSD hard drive, uh, so it should be a little a uh, little quicker to load love the scenery though one thing I'm really impressed with is the smoothness of this um, recording video with OBS though um, so screen recording and playing simulator you can definitely tell there's a frame rate hit ah I took off a night I should have definitely changed that um, so let's go up here we got Chicago at night people um, change it to the day uh, let's do that because you know what we can so why not I want to see it during the day there we have it South Shore Chicago and a Cessna 152 show the outside here it gets a little louder I 
absolutely beautiful. Very impressed with graphics on here. I can see the water is just absolutely calm. Um, we'll get closer to the water here. It would be cool if it was actually, if you could see ice um, along the shoreline there. You could actually land on frozen lakes. Maybe you can. Comment below if you can actually do that. Uh, maybe there's a mod that you can use to actually freeze up lakes. That would be pretty sweet. Because uh, I think realistically, you know, especially in those northern climates, you're going to be landing on frozen lakes uh, with either tundra tires or skis and not... Um, you know, you're not going to need a float plane for, for long. So here is the famous, infamous, however you want to say it, south side Chicago, depending on if you like the White Sox or not. Uh, where is, I wonder where the field is. It's on the outside. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we can take a look down below. We've got our cars out there. Everything is the way it should look. Uh, I know there's some mods that you can actually use Google Earth instead of Bing Maps. Um, I watched a few videos on that. Um, and I will uh, link as well some of those videos if I can find some more. Really, really some good ones. And um, is it worth it or not? But um, here is Southside Chicago. Uh, looks like there's a high school. Is that a high school field right there? Let's zoom in here a little bit. Uh, we got a little C emblem. So there is um, there is Chicago. I really like that you can remove the yoke. You couldn't do that in the old flight simulators, uh, and honestly, they just got in the way all the time. Um, so what do we got here for lights? We've got a lot of lights off. This would not be a situation. It's super cold out. I'm going to turn pedo heat on. Nav lights on, strobes on, beacons are always on, even when I turn off uh, the aircraft that I fly in real life, I always leave the beacon light on, because once you turn the master's draw, it just goes off automatically, but as soon as you turn your batteries on, you should have your beacon on anyway. Uh, we'll keep our landing lights off, um, cabin lighting, ah, let's turn that, uh, I usually have that off this time of day, so let's keep that off. Cabin air, um, how do we remove this yoke here? I'm just flying around here, um, it's cool that you can actually go over here. Um, and let's move that yoke as well because I would definitely have this pulled all the way out um, Cabin air basically all that does is it opens up some vents in the wings um, Right on the leading edge of the wings and those uh, vents go right through these and you just pull these out and literally you get air uh, Going through as well, but cabin air Comes in through the bottom and you zoom in vents right here. These go directly into here and then you can open up the cabin air and that opens up this and then that comes in through the cabin as well. Um, this little thing opens up when you pull that and then let's go back in here and cabin heat is air that's warmed up from the exhaust system so right now it's super cold out so we would definitely have that air blowing on our feet. Um, because these planes are, as we think they're really not, they're not very airtight. They are not. They are old birds. This one could be, uh, 150, this is probably in the 70s, is a 152, but the 150s are um, usually uh, most of them you find are in the uh, mid 60s models from 1960s. Here is beautiful Chicago. Not uh, completely familiar. I know that's like the Chicago River, I think. Um, I think there's like a Dan Ryan Expressway, maybe, or a JFK Expressway. I'm not sure. Uh, been there several times, um, but it's been a while since I've last there. There's uh, Willis Tower, the tallest black tower in the background. It used to be the Sears Tower. Um, the, I think it's the Hancock Tower. I don't know what, what it's called now, but at that tall... Uh, Pyramid looking tower in the back. I think this is Lincoln Park. Um, Hyde Park? I don't, I don't know. I should uh, actually look at Chicago more. I um, have driven there so many times and it's just been so long. But here is Soldier Field, Chicago Bears play. Um, and 
here's where we're getting to. This is really what I wanted to check out. And this is Mixfield. So this is a new update. Um, a new addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator is Mixfield. And this field, if you try to go there in real life, you go to Soldier Field, you go to the park here. Um, this is uh, an aquarium and this is a planetarium. Um, cool places to go. You can walk along the boardwalk up here and here's um, uh, the pier, um, Navy Pier I think they call it, where they have a lot of uh, stuff as well to do, but um, there is now basically a park. This is walking tra trails and it's kind of been reverted back to nature. I, I don't know exactly when that was. It was probably about the time of 9-11 they, um, they changed that airfield. what it looks like though beautiful Chicago in the winter time clear skies coming up on Navy Pier some of the beaches here it's just absolutely breathtaking graphics with Microsoft Flight Simulator um, unbelievable there's a little uh, little inlet here to get into the river and once you get into the river there there's the business part of Chicago right along here I think they do some duck races in there as well. I believe they dive the river. I'm not sure. Maybe that's just Boston. I, I don't know. Um, I was here on St. Patrick's Day a long time ago, up on the north side of Chicago. Um, but I know there's some cool beaches up here. Uh, flying over a ship. It's loud once I get out of the aircraft. You can definitely tell the volume increases. What do you say? Should we uh, see if this lake is frozen? I think we need to. There's an awesome guy on YouTube. If you're a fan of real flying, Trent Palmer. Um, that guy is absolutely amazing what he can do with a, with a small airplane. He's got a kit box, a uh, Killjager airplane. Um, Probably not the safest thing to do this in a Cessna 152 over um, over Mixfield. Probably lose your license in real life, but let's uh, oh, definitely would. Uh, let's just touch the water here. It looks like it's not frozen at all. It definitely looks like it's not frozen. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to go down. But you know, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Oh, so close. So close. So close. So close. So close. Come on, touch it. Oh, there you go. That's all I'm going to do. Touch the water. Never do that in real life. Especially in this airplane. Especially outside of Chicago. Tiny wheels. Not the smartest thing. But that's why we have flight simulator. Alright, let's get up here. Let's do about a uh, 30 degree bank angle. Um, that's where the hash mark is right now. Is about 30 degrees. This plane usually sits pretty nice at about 95 miles an hour, cruising 100 maybe real life. It's not fast. Uh, you get a nice strong headwind and you see cars pass you. But it's all about the experience. And here we are over Chicago. I want to say, here's that little hiccup that we got here. And I think honestly that's, that's this video recording that I have. Um, just messing with it. Just I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but we're not going to let it detract from beautiful Chicago during a, you know, it's December. Why are there leaves on the trees? I'm not quite understanding that, but, you know. Uh, we have a north wind uh, at 8 miles per hour, so let's go in. And uh, I'm not going to building surf here um, through Chicago. That's not realistic at all, but... Uh, we're going to get a beautiful view of Chicago here. As we head south along the coastline again, uh, maybe I'll cut a couple buildings here. And um, I'm pretty sure um, the traffic pattern on Mixfield would be right traffic for runway 36. Uh, it wouldn't make much sense that they would have a traffic pattern flying over the city all the time. Um, so I'm actually going to enter a right downwind runway 36 so I can 
man to the north. Always land into the wind, folks. That's the way to do it. Um, airspeed is uh, your friend when you're in the air, but it kills you on the ground. So you want to go as slow as you can um, safely when you're approaching the land and when you're landing. And so you want to have the wind uh, facing you at all times when you're landing. So this right here, if we just took off from that runway as it is, and we made a bank over, this is actually a right crosswind because we're turning to the right after takeoff. So we'd say um, uh, Cessna 112 X-ray right crosswind runway 36 mix. I think this is actually a towered airport, but we'll just pretend like it's a common traffic frequency. Now we're going to turn downwind. We're not going to go too far out in the lake. I would, I would, um, if I were actually flying at MIGS, which you can't obviously now. I would make a tight of a traffic pattern as I could because if something went wrong over Lake Michigan, I would at least want to have the airfield glidable. Um, usually about 500 feet, 500 to uh, more than that, probably about 700, maybe a thousand if there's a lot of uh, ground stuff, but uh, about six, seven, 800 feet would be your traffic pattern for here. Um, especially for a small aircraft. Obviously, if you had a turboprop, you'd probably fly a thousand feet above ground level would be your traffic kind of um, I didn't even set my barometer, so it's probably completely off. So I'm just gonna eyeball this as I, um, as I would assume where we're at. So now we're on uh, right downwind for we'll runway 36. So let's just kind of square up to the runway here. There is Migs Field, beautiful Chicago in the background. Got the windows out the back to look at Chicago. We got nothing in storage. Maybe put a couple things of oil back there. These things like the oil. Here we are, so I would say mixed traffic. Cessna 112 X ray is midfield left downwind, runway 36, full stop. Thanks. Alright, so there we are. Um, we're going to pull carb heat, boom, pull carb heat, that makes sure we don't freeze. Now we're going to pull back our throttle just a little bit here. We'll go down to about, uh, we'll do about 2,000, we'll put a notch of flaps in. And we've got some flaps in. Got the runway back here. Mixfield Cessna, 112 X-ray. Right base, runway 36, full stop, thanks. Now we can always add more throttle. Ah, get off of there. You can always add more throttle, but um, you always have to have that car repeat on when you're coming into land. Mixed traffic, Cessna 112 X ray, turning final, runway 36. Let's go final. Uh, let's do full flaps here. And let's come into land here. Our beautiful MIGs haven't been able to do this um, for a long time. Thank you, Microsoft, Sobo, our developers. Um, red over white is our glide path. Red over white, you're all right. So here we come down. Again, I'm just not a fan of this controller. It's so twitchy, so sensitive, not realistic. When I get this joystick, it'll be a way better experience. We'll actually compare landings when I get the joystick because usually, especially on a 150, 152, this is a grease uh, landing all day long. Um, way easier to land it in real life, I think, than it is on uh, this controller. And that's being honest. So we're just gonna let it come to a nice rest. Remember, rudders only. Super sensitive with the rudders and everything. Let's go right off the end of the runway. I'm like literally hitting my brakes as hard as I can. I would definitely be able to stop sooner in a real aircraft. Uh, brakes are definitely a lot more uh, useful in a real um, Cessna 150. You can literally lock them up if you needed to, but you can uh, land and stop short very very easily. Um, mixed traffic Cessna 112 X ray is clear runway 36, taxiing to parking. And we
and we are like fast taxi here. Uh, there we are. There is mixed field. We got some random folks sitting out there. I'm sure this was a, a fairly busy terminal back in the day. No traffic is set on at this point. Um, so you know what? We are the only people here, so let's just do this. Um, you are my passenger, so let's go ahead. We'll uh, just stop right here. Easy to turn it off. Uh, we will put the parking brake on. Uh, little lever right here. Um, we're going to clean up our aircraft, so we'll put our flaps back up there. Um, we will, let's see here, we got enough to bottle out. Let's put our carb heat in for the next time. We got everything good here. Pull the mixture. Prop turns off. All right, come on. You don't want to turn off. There we go. And turn off. Oh, there we go. Continue. Turn off our battery. I'm not sure there's a way to turn that off. Let me know if there's a way to turn that off. Obviously, we should have turned these mags off before. Um, let's turn everything off here. Pedo heat, nav light, strobe light. We're going to leave the beacon on. Taxi light. Um, beacon always stays on. So There we are. There is... Oh, you hear the birds chirping? There is mixed field right there. Um, you know, what's really cool is you can go in here, go showcase, and now we have a drone. Um, here we are. Here's a beautiful mixed field. Chicago Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Really love how they've uh, rendered this out. Beautiful. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. We're uh, looking to build the channel, um, do more realistic videos, um, uh, really compare the difference between actually flying a real aircraft, um, especially a smaller general aviation aircraft, and flight simulator. We're going to check out some cool spots, uh, stay up to date on updates on flight simulator. Um, so, uh, Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment where you want to go next. I think there's a lot of cool places in this uh, um, environment that we've never explored. Uh, so I really look forward to uh, doing some of the landing challenges, some more uh, Maverick challenges, um, but look forward to seeing you next time.